Fletcher from Hairworks London and today I'm going to talk to you about the round blow dry brushes. So the reason why I chose this design of brush is because it takes the best elements of a ceramic round brush and a natural ball bristle brush and incorporates them together. What you get with the brush is a ceramic barrel which has air vents which allows for airflow, meaning that you get a quicker blow dry. The ceramic barrel always heats up so that helps with smoothing as well. You also get the natural ball bristles and natural ball bristles are the kindest bristles to the hair. Especially if you've got textured hair, it gives you a really smooth finish. It helps to reduce breakage and it keeps the hair healthy. We've also got a rubber grip on the handle which is amazing for when you blow dry you can really get that tug that you need on the hair to create a smoother finish. We have these available in small, medium and large. The guidelines for which brush you should purchase is on the website, so check that. And I'm just going to show you a quick demo of how to blow dry with the brushes. Before starting your blow dry, there's a few things that you need to check. You need to make sure that the size of your section isn't too wide. You don't want it to exceed the width of the brush. You also need to place your brush under the section of hair, however it feels comfortable for you and you need to make sure that your nozzle is in line with the brush horizontally. And when I say that, I mean your nozzle and your brush are both horizontal like this. What you don't want is this, otherwise you won't get a smooth blow dry. So for example, let's put the brush in the hair and say I found that the hair dryer nozzle was facing the wrong way. All I would do is twist the nozzle around and then do another check and make sure that it is horizontal and then I know I'm good to go. What you'll have to do is throughout your blow dry is twist the nozzle because you are going to be holding your brush in different positions. It naturally feels easier to blow dry your hair on one side opposed to the other. But just make sure you keep on checking the nozzle and brush and rotating and you'll get a nice smooth blow dry. So let's turn on and you can see a demonstration of the brushing action. As you can see we've got a nice smooth section here and as you probably also noticed I did go over the same section of hair quite a few times and that's because the model has got textured hair so in order to get a smooth finish you need to be repetitive with the same section. Also what I wasn't doing is I wasn't pushing the nozzle into the brush. This will burn the bristles and it will also damage the hair so keep these tips in mind when blow drying. If you've got any further questions please don't hesitate to contact me via the website www.hairworkslondon.co.uk or via my Instagram, which is hairworks underscore London underscore. Thank you.